before this statute was law. But also, this is a parent talking about a, her child's observation about a class, which is not, I mean, she's not the person who was in the class. She's talking about someone else's perception about a class in this email. So I have an objection on the basis that it's not um, Reliable. It's not sufficiently reliable because it's not from the person who made the observation, but from a person who made observations about the person who made observations about the class. Or she's going to testify about what her daughter thought about what feelings were promoted in somebody else entirely. And I mean, my objection is that it is unreliable, and I don't think these are present sense impressions. This is a description looking back over a class that took place two years ago or a year and a half ago. Um, <coughs> that's the objection. And I just would direct you to the definition of a present sense impression under Rule 8 or 2, which is a statement of the declarant, um, sorry, a statement describing or explaining an event or condition made while the declarant was perceiving the event or condition or immediately thereafter. And that is precisely what Ms. Stevenson is describing in terms of describing her, her daughter's present sense impression of the class as, and she was describing those events contemporaneously to her mother as they were occurring. Um, her mother isn't testifying to her or speculating about what she felt, she's testifying about what she said she felt, and that is a present sense impression. Anything else? Well, she you just read the definition, it's an impression while perceiving it or immediately thereafter. There certainly hasn't been a foundation about that, but while she was perceiving it, it was presumably while she was in class, so unless her mother was there at the same time, I don't think that it falls within that definition for either while or immediately thereafter. Okay, well, this is an administrative proceeding. The rules of evidence are not strictly adhered to. I appreciate the council uh, providing some <laughs> Uh, authority in support of their respective positions and their arguments. Uh, I'm going to overrule the objection. I'm going to allow the testimony and give it whatever way I deem appropriate. At, and we will then address the exhibit itself uh, when it's offered into evidence. And the parties will have an opportunity uh, in, during their closing argument uh, with respect to the testimony and any other evidence to argue the weight or consideration to be given <coughs> with respect to any evidence that's admitted, and, and specifically at this point with respect to the, uh, uh, the testimony. So uh, you may proceed if you.